Hey everybody, this is Jay. And this is Q, and welcome to our version of the Cruise Must Haves. That's good. Welcome back everybody, and um, we're here to talk about our must-have items for a cruise. So for me, I like everything organized. Um, I've ordered these packing cubes, um, and we'll put the links below. Um, they just were able to keep us very organized while we were in the room. Um, one of the sets is like a seven-piece set, another set is like a four-piece set, um, but it, you can just put your stuff in these packing cubes, Pack them in your suitcase, and you're ready to go. Okay. Um, my main thing that I like to use, and everybody should use, is hand sanitizer. Um, I'm just a big germaphobe, and I hate seeing people, like, touching stuff and licking it with their fingers and all that kind of stuff. So this will stop you from getting sick on a boat. So this is the main thing that I like to bring is, is the hand sanitizer. And so to tie onto that, I would say make sure you have a really nice backpack or something that's comfortable for you. Um, this one kind of compacts, um, so it's easy for packing. Um, it's perfect for like sure excursions. Um, and you can actually tie your, link your little. You can click this on there. Your back, to your backpack right there. And it just hangs off the and side. And it just hangs off the side. So for me, backpack was essential to have um, going on excursion. Okay. Uh, one thing that I needed and I didn't think I was going to need <laughs> are C-bands. <laughs> um, this is just basically if you have any type of motion sickness. Um, you put them on your arms. They uh, stop you from uh, getting that, that kind of queasy feeling when you're uh, out on the boat. And basically, you know, they just stop you from, from getting seasick. And these helped me out. Um, I took the Dramamine and the Bonine. Um, and both of these, they work for me also. So those are, these are, are needed also. If you, if, you, if you just think you're going to get sick, I would take those just in case. Okay, next item, uh, piggybacking off of his stuff, is a first aid kit. Now, you can customize your first aid kit for whatever you guys think you need. It could be, you know, you could add aspirin, um, you know, Pepto, Band-Aids, just whatever you think you need. Um, and that's kind of what we did. We just customized it. Like, if you have sinuses really bad, um, so make sure you have a medical kit. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing I'm going to show you is a alarm clock. They don't, this is not like a hotel room where you have an alarm clock automatically in the room. They don't have those in there. So you got to make sure you have this because when you hit those ports, um, you know, if you have a short scourge, you got to be able to wake yourself up. And those uh, inside interior rooms, they don't have lights. So, you know, normally if you're like a person that wakes up with the sun and you're like, oh, the sun's out, it's getting light outside. Nope. If you're in one of those interior rooms, it's completely dark. So you need to have one of these and make sure it has like an LED light on it so it can, you can look over and see what time it is. Another thing for me is make sure you have some disinfectant wipes um, and some nice, good hand soap so that when you're out walking around, you know, you're touching all of the stair rails, elevators, you can come back to your room, really wash your hands. Um, it just it goes a long way just to have some really good soap. Uh, and then the disinfectant wipes is just like if when you first get on the boat, if you just want to have you, I mean the rooms are clean, but you want to wipe it down um, before you actually kind of touch anything. Like the remote, that was one of my big things is making sure you just wipe down the remote and you know the switches for the lights and things like that. So these are two must-have things for me. This isn't necessarily a must-have, but you're gonna need a lanyard. <laughs> Because you get this, uh, they give you your sign and sale card. This is our old sign and sale card from the Vista. But you get this card, and um, basically, you got to have something to, to keep it in because this is like your lifeline. This gets you in your room. It gets you on the boat. It gets you off the boat. Uh, this is how you purchase things. Um, so this is you need a lanyard in order to hold your stuff so you don't lose this card because 
I don't know what happens if you lose it because we never lost ours, but <laughs> I don't want to want to even be in the position to to lose my card. So this is a must have. You have to have a some type of a lanyard. Okay, ladies, this one's for you. So I loved having my own little little bag. I didn't take a big bag. Um, it was crossbody, so when we were at port, I was able to just kind of throw some stuff in this little bag and kind of go. Um, if you don't want to take a bag, that's your choice. Um, you can also just take like a little wallet. Um, this wallet has, you know, stuff for cash. You can put cash in here if you have to. If you're taking your driver's license, if you if you're taking your passport off um, the boat, you can actually put your passport in this. It carries very well. Um, so. Those are my two other items. It's, you know, crossbody bag, and then if you don't have that, then you can take just a small wallet. Okay. Here's my next item. This is like a little uh, nightlight that you can have on in the room. It's not, you just pull it up like this. It's a lantern, basically. Um, and the rooms are, are pretty dark at night, so if you don't want to be stumbling over anything and... You know, you just want to be able to see stuff. You know, if, if you have to go use the restroom, this is something you can just pick up, pull it, you got light, and you're good to go. So that's another thing that you have to have, and especially if you're on the interior interior cabin, you want to have a, some type of a light like that. Cool. Okay, ladies, another huge tip. Make sure you wear comfortable shoes. <laughs> <laughs> um, if it's a pair of like comfortable flip flops, I know a lot of people wear Crocs, whatever, tennis shoes, just make sure you have comfortable shoes. Um, I loved these. I got these off of Amazon and I didn't really think they were going to be comfortable, but they were my like go to shoe um, if I was going to be in like a little sandal. Most of the time I did wear a tennis shoe, but this right here, these were so comfortable. I love them. Um, another tip is ladies, do not wear your brand new um, high heel shoes <laughs> um, for like elegant night. Make sure they're comfortable shoes um, because you are doing a lot of walking. So that's another huge tip. Make sure you have very comfortable shoes. Yeah, you do a lot of walking. You go yeah. up and down stairs. So you yeah. know, make sure they're real comfortable. Yeah. Um, this is another, this is a, actually a really must have in the room. Um, this is just a little um, power strip, um, and basically you have to have uh, a power strip without the little red switch on it. Um, they don't want you to have the those red switches because it can cause a fire hazard, and that's the worst thing you can have on the boat is a fire. So uh, make sure you look up for one of these. Um, the room it had what two plugs? Yeah. It had two plugs. Like in the inside the room, there are actually two plugs. Um, so if you have extra things you need to plug in, get you one of these. Um, plug in. I think there's an extra plug in the bathroom, but that's just for like if you use your your, your, um, hair, dryer your hair dryer. Yeah. But this is a must-have. This one, um, it actually has three USB plugs on it. So if you uh, you need need to plug in your phone or your iPad or your tablet or something, you can plug in this also. Um, that was a must-have. Okay, another good item to have. Um, if you're rolling your clothes when you're packing or if you just happen to, if you're using your packing cube and they just, a shirt or something gets wrinkled, this right here is great. It's the, the Downy uh, Wrinkle Release um, and we used it a couple of times. So I would say it's a must have um, depending on whatever clothes you're taking. That way if you, you know, you can't really get to the laundry room. I mean, there's a place where there is an iron, but it could be, you know, pretty busy. Um, so just take one of these and you'll be okay. Okay. Next, I had a charging station. Um, basically, this is a six-port charging station. Um, this one is made by Anchor, and uh, it's basically this is my this was my in-room charger. So anytime we were in the room and like we were about to go to sleep, we plug our phones in or whatever else we needed to to this for overnight charge. Um, this is not a quick charger. This this uh, model that I have is not a quick charger. Um, so, you know, this is basically just something that you have in the room if you just want to, before you go to sleep, you need to plug your stuff in and recharge for the night. You got six ports for it. Um, and this is a must-have for me because I have a lot of electronics that I have to plug in. So, I love this thing. It was, it was awesome. It was awesome? Yes. You liked it? Awesome. Okay. Okay, another thing for us um, was sunblock and then aloe. 
Um, and it was just like a must have because it's, I mean, you don't really realize it while you're just out on the deck or whatever. The sun's shining down on you. It's hot. It's hot. So just make sure you have some sunblock. And then if you just happen to get burned, have some, you know, aloe vera. And I, we got, I got this one at like CVS. Um, so I'm sure like Walmart, anybody has it. Um, and this is just like some Kula sport sunblock. It's like a little travel size. Um, and I got this in one of my little subscription boxes that I get every month. Um, so just make sure you have some sunblock and aloe vera. Very important. Okay. This is another must have for me. Uh, this is an, a RAV power, uh, power bank. Uh, it has three ports on the back. Um, and this is actually a, a quick charge. So this is the one that you can plug your phone into when you're out. And uh, basically, if your phone is dead, you can get it back to 80% within an hour. An uh, hour and 30 minutes is completely charged. And I think I can get probably, I think I got about six charges out of this thing before I had to actually recharge it. Um, it has a USB to, to USB, uh, USB plug. This is also a USB-C to USB-C plug on it. And then it has an, an iSmart plug for iPhones to, to get those to charge quicker. Um, and this actually, it takes, I think it takes like four and a half hours to get this back to normal once you once it depletes. So this is something that you can charge overnight with the, the uh, wall charger that I just showed you. Um, and this is, a, this is a pretty good thing. This is, it's really powerful and it, I know it's kind of bulky and big, but I keep everything in a backpack so it really didn't bother me. And that's it. Cool. Okay, so one of my last two little items, I'm going to combine them together, <laughs> is just some bug spray because one of our excursions, we were kind of going to be like, I would say in the like woods part of it, and we just wanted to make sure there weren't any bugs like biting us. So we did take a bug spray with us. Um, and then the other thing is you could use this as like, this is just Lysol spray. So you can use it as an air freshener. You can just use it as like if you just want to, spray down some stuff it's just another little thing that i was like oh where's the lysol um so these again you can get them anywhere like target walmart um cvs um but this was like i think one of my lifesavers um mm -hmm. that i had on the on the boat so i think that's about it for my items you got anything else over there um last thing i think that All everybody right. needs oh, is a hat <laughs> and some shades <laughs> Because it is hot out there, and you know that—that's you know you you don't realize it, but you're closer to the equator if you're going to the Caribbean like we were. So you got to have this kind of you got to have a hat and some shades because if you don't, you're going to be squinting and uh, you know sweating and all that kind of stuff. So these are these are both just keep you from from they keep you comfortable, keep you from from sweating and all that kind of stuff. So those are the two main things that that you should have whenever you go out. Cool. Yep. Well, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions um, or if you want to know where we got any of the other items that were not from like Amazon, um, please comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Um, please like and subscribe our videos. Um, we'll see you later. Bye.